Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Dave Bitter, front-end developer at Frontman, and today I have another Friday tip for you. We're gonna have a short look at Chromatic by Storybook, which is a tool to help you with things like visual regression and UI feedback from designers. If we head over to their website, we can see that uh, Chromatic automates the gathering of UI feedback, visual testing, and documentation. Uh, and it's doing this in a really fast manner. Um, so we can gather all the UI feedback in one place, um, request feedback from designers, uh, receive comments. Um, but for me, most importantly, uh, you can uh, get uh, visual regressions in a really nice UI uh, and it's fast. I have this small project from the past, which is a Pomodoro. Um, and we have this uh, timer component. Um, so let's try to change something here and then see how Chromatic works. So I've got the local project right here. And if we go to the timer component, and for instance, we change a label to start with an exclamation mark, uh, and perhaps we uh, change some styling. So for instance, the background color, uh, we put it to red, uh, and maybe, um, we have some, some margins or, or paddings uh, or sizes even that we change. Uh, so for instance, from 20 RAM to 18 RAM. And what we can do now is uh, we can run the chromatic script, which I already prepared. So I started uh, a new chromatic project for this repository. So if I run yarn chromatic, you can see that it runs chromatic with the project token that I have. It's going to authenticate uh, with Chromatic, uh, retrieve some Git information about the branch that I'm on and the commit that I'm on. Uh, it's going to collect some storybook metadata. Uh, so for instance, we use some add-ons uh, for accessibility uh, and knobs and that type of stuff. Uh, it's going to well build the actual storybook, which it does well fairly fast because we don't have that many components. Uh, it's then going to publish it, uh, verify it, um, and then it's running the test. So you can see how quick this already goes because it's already doing the visual regression test right now. Uh, and we can see that it's well, now working on the form items uh, that we have. And in a minute, it should go over to the modal and then the timer component. And after that, it's gonna tell us, hey, we found some visual changes uh, that, you, uh, that you made uh, and you need to, uh, to review them and check them. So if we hit this link, we go to Chromatic. Um, and from here, well, I, I can invite uh, project members of my team. So for instance, other developers or uh, visual designers, interaction designers, whoever I want to. Um, if we scroll down a bit, we can see that, well, our build uh, initiated a minute ago, so this is our fresh one. Uh, it tested this on Chrome uh, in 32 seconds, which is really quick. Uh, for some visual regressions. Um, and we have two changes uh, to our tap accordion and to our timer. Um, so well, let's open the timer because that's the one that we started with. Uh, we can see in this UI that uh, there's actually quite a few changes uh, because if I toggle the div back, you see, well, we have the red background, uh, but we also changed the size uh, up. So what we can do is this super party uh, effect to see what changed, uh, but at least it's already clear that you see, hey, it got smaller and uh, the background got changed. Um, and if we scroll down a bit more, we can now see that well, the baseline is larger, right? Because we changed the size of the components, um, but we also get uh, a DOM div here. So we can test our regression here as well, uh, based on the content, which might sometimes be uh, a bit more difficult to see. Uh, well, this exc exclamation mark you you might find, but uh, if it's just a comma or a space somewhere, at least here you can get a highlighted uh, section of the code. Um, so this could be a bit uh, difficult right now uh, in the way that it shows this. We can actually do, if we turn off the diff, uh, we can go to one up. Um, and we have our uh, well initial version here. Uh, and then if I hit switch, you get a much nicer view already. Where you can see, hey, it got smaller and the background changed. So you can toggle back and forth. 
uh, well, we made these changes and uh, yeah, we want this exclamation mark and this new size and color. So what we can do is say, okay, I'm gonna accept this. And here in the table, you can see, hey, this is accepted now. Uh, but the nice thing is we just changed something in the timer component. Uh, so normally uh, yeah, we would check, hey, is, is, my, is my change good? Is it, does it match the, the visual design? Um, but you might change something in a different component as well. So if we head over to this step accordion, uh, we can see that it's being used here um, in this step accordion. Um, but our change with the size also made, uh, for instance, these steps a bit smaller. Uh, well, that's fine, absolutely fine. But if it wasn't, uh, you would notice it right now because the tool says, hey, there's a difference here. Uh, so that's great. Um, so we're cool with this. Uh, we can say accept um, and then go back. Um, and we're completely fine. So from this moment on, uh, we did our review uh, and you can actually automate this. So you can say uh, in my uh, pipeline, whenever I want to merge uh, a, a pull request or a merge request, uh, you can actually say, hey, run this chromatic bit. Uh, and uh, you first need to resolve all of them. Then you can run it again and you uh, your build passes or your pipeline passes rather, uh, and you can merge it uh, safely. So this core functionality of uh, Chromatic is already super useful for me uh, to run these visual regressions just to help myself uh, detect uh, potential bugs uh, and fix them before, uh, before we merge. Uh, but you can imagine that if you work in a bigger team, uh, you now have this one place where you can review and uh, give feedback on all these changes. So you can invite your uh, entire team. Um, so if we head over to uh, the pricing section, uh, you can actually see that uh, it doesn't matter how many storybooks you have or how many collaborators, uh, because they actually believe that everybody should be able to uh, work with this. Um, but yeah, one of the, well, call it a downside, uh, is the 5,000 free snapshots that you can use uh, a month. Uh, I think for many people, this would still be fine. Uh, but if you work in very uh, big project, um, perhaps at a big client, you have a lot of components, you do a lot of these visual uh, regression tests, uh, yeah, then you might have to opt into uh, some of the uh, uh, premium plans uh, that they offer, uh, which in my opinion are still very reasonable. And there we have it. So what I just showed was super short, super simple. And I mean, that's the way it's supposed to be, right? You need to do this. Uh, a lot of times uh, during the day uh, and you just want a quick easy tool that just helps you and isn't bloated with all kinds of features that you don't need of course there are some more features that i didn't show yet but yeah it's free uh, so i suggest if you have a project with storybook just try it out uh, see how how you like it and maybe it's a good addition for your workflow uh, even for personal projects uh, but especially while working in a team and that's all for today so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.